welcome back to today's series and i want to welcome you to uh augustine chibuzo math physics and uh, in this video we are going to continue with question number three uh, you can watch this series uh, on matrices so that you know how you can figure out uh, question number one, two, and now we want to uh, show that a matrix A is diagonalizable. Uh, this question three, we are given a three by three matrix, uh, one, zero, one, zero, one, one, and one, one, zero, and we are to show that this matrix A is diagonalizable. And in the second option, we are to find an invertible matrix P and a diagonal matrix D such that P inverse AP will be equals to D. Uh, so you follow us systematically so that you see how you can figure out how to show that a certain matrix is diagonalizable. Let us jump into it. To diagonalize a matrix, the first thing we need to do in order to diagonalize this matrix or to determine that this matrix is diagonalizable uh, would be to find the eigenvalues and after finding the eigenvalues, uh, we are going to find its corresponding eigenvectors and those corresponding eigenvectors we are going to use now to show that the given matrix is diagonalizable so let us uh, get started by first of all uh, looking for the eigenvalues of this matrix so we are having a by definition by definition let's take our pen it's a minute by definition, we know that uh, A uh, minus lambda I minus lambda I, which is the formula of finding our eigenvalues, uh, this would be equal to, uh, this is a 3 by 3 matrix, 3 by 3 matrix, 1, 0, 1, uh, 0, 1, 1, and 1, 1, 0 and it makes our work easier since it is three by three matrix looking for n values will be quite simple if you know how to figure it out so multiply this uh, with the corresponding uh, lambda this will be one and then we have uh, zero uh, we also have one minus lambda and this is one and uh, we have our one here uh, one then we have uh, uh, this will simply be minus lambda because we have zero here so simply put minus lambda and all these must be equal to zero because we are looking for the determinant and uh, to give this you can use trace a uh, lambda cubed minus trace of a trace is simply the diagonal at the diagonal minus the adjoint and then you get the determinant of this matrix and but since we are having zero zero matrix and one one on this uh, diagonal uh, it is simply easy so the again value for this will simply be one minus lambda uh, this is 1 minus lambda uh, into we have also lambda here this becomes uh, lambda into lambda uh, minus uh, 1 and then minus 1 because we have lambda here into lambda minus lambda then minus 1 uh, and this will be you can add plus a uh, lambda minus one lambda minus one this must be equal to zero so that uh, our again value in this case will become uh, lambda minus one factor out that you have one minus lambda squared lambda squared plus lambda plus 1 and this must be equal to 0 
so that our lambda minus 1 in this case uh, will be 2 plus lambda and then minus lambda squared and this is equal to 0 uh, this will give us a uh, negative let's factor out negative we have negative into lambda minus 1 then we we'll have a lambda squared uh, this is lambda squared minus lambda uh, minus 2 and this also is equal to 0 so that our um, again values will simply be lambda minus 1 we have lambda plus 1 and then we have lambda minus 2 lambda minus 2 and this is equal to 0 therefore our lambda 1 is equal to negative 1 like we have and our lambda 2 will be equal to 1 positive 1 and our lambda 3 lambda 3 will simply be equal to 2 is equal to 2 so this is the value for lambda uh, negative 1 1 and 2 and this uh, values for lambda is simply the again values and we are going to use these again values now to find uh, their corresponding again vectors for all the lambda lambda 1 lambda 2 and then lambda 3 so let's get rid of this and uh, find some space uh, in order to do that. Let's get rid of this. Okay, so now for lambda 1, we have lambda 1. Uh, we are looking for now the eigen vectors. This is the eigen vectors. Again, vectors for uh, lambda 1, which is equals to negative 1. For lambda 1, which is equals to negative 1, simply replace negative 1 where you see lambda. So it will be 1, negative, negative 1. That will become positive 2. So we have 2. Negative 1, we have 0 here. This will become 0. Uh, this is 1. Then we have uh, 0. Then we have 1 minus lambda will simply be 2, and this is 1. Uh, we have uh, 1, 1, then 1. Negative 1 becomes positive, negative, negative. So this is what you have as uh, our new matrix. So we introduce some C1, C2, and C3 as our vectors so that. Uh, this also must be equal to zero zero matrix because all this must be equal to zero so solving for this again vectors so here we will simply have a uh, 2c1 this is 2c1 uh, plus c3 because uh, c2 is zero and this must be equal to zero must be equal to zero uh, this implies that uh, C3 is equal to negative 2C1. Now, solving also here we have negative, uh, no, positive 2C2 because C1 in this case is 0. So this is 2C2 uh, plus C3 plus C3 and this also must be equal to zero this will imply that c3 in this case is equal to negative 2 c1 like we have initially so therefore our c1 in this case will be equal to c2 our c1 be equal to c2 uh, therefore we will have uh, c1 plus c2 plus c3 will be equal to zero meaning that the value for c1 c2 c3 in this case c1 c2 c3 will simply be equal to c1 because we know that c1 is uh, equal to c2 so we have c1 
we also have C1 and then we have negative 2 negative 2 C1 because C3 is negative 2 C1 we know that C3 is negative C1 that C2 is C1 and that is why you where you see C2 you put C1 C1 is to C1 and C3 is negative to C1 so we want to find out what this value could be factor out uh, C1 if you factor out C1 uh, C1 out therefore we'll have uh, 1 1 then we have negative 2 and this is our first again vectors for lambda equals to negative 1 for lambda which is equals to negative 1 checking now if the matrix is diagonalizable we are going to bring back the original matrix 3 by 3 we know what we had initially was uh, uh, 1 0 1 and then we have 0 uh, 1 1 and then we have 1 one zero this was the three by three matrix that we had initially but we want to see if they are diagonalizable for uh, the first uh, uh, again vector we got a uh, one one negative two like we had here like we had here and uh, this is our again vectors now instead of uh, c1 c2 c3 so this will be equal to uh this will be equal to some zero zero vectors uh, some zero zero vectors solving this we will simply get negative one and uh, because we have one into this we have negative one negative one and then you have two if we uh, multiply these two uh, matrices you have negative one negative one and two therefore we have a lambda which is equals to lambda into 1, negative 1, negative 1, then 2, which is simply 1, 1, negative 2. And this becomes our first x value, uh, x1 uh, value for these uh, uh, matrices, as we are going to still look for uh, lambda when it is lambda 2 and check if they are linearly independent so x1 in this case will simply be negative 1 negative 1 and then 2 which is what we have uh, this is what we have here so this is our x1 value now let us uh, also find uh, lambda uh lambda is equals to one it is true lambda doing what we did before so now this is what we have when lambda is equals to one uh we use when lambda is negative one in the first one so that uh, if you solve this as a system of equation uh c six in this case uh let's have six six it will be equal to sorry for that it will be equal to zero it will be equal to zero so that we have c4 plus c5 uh, which is equal to zero uh, this will imply that uh, c5 is equal to negative c4 negative c4 sorry for that this is network issues negative c4 negative c4 and uh, let's get rid of this 5 and 6 is we will get 1 negative 1 and 0 therefore this is our x2 now let us find the value for x3 when lambda is equal to uh, when our lambda is equal to 2 which is the third again values substituting 2 wherever you see lambda we simply have negative 1 0 1 0 negative 1 1 1 1 negative 2 and our vector in this case becomes c7 c8 c9 since we already have c4 c5 c6 and this must be equal to some zero vectors solving these things as a system of equations we end up uh, with uh, negative c7 plus c9 which is equals to zero let's have that done. when we put this together we simply get uh, one 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 as our x3 which means that 
uh, we conclude by saying that A is diagonalizable since x1 and x2 